Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Solwyn versus, no, not the doctor, not Dr. Kitano 93, unfortunately, but um, Ask of his substitute. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Solwyn was scheduled to play doctor about an hour and a half ago. Um, and really exciting match, probably my favorite of the week in black white. Um, Kitano was four or five and two, I think four and two in black white. Um, on the other hand, Solwyn's obviously been dominating. He's won every game all the way 7 0, but Doctor never showed up. Wait a little bit, and now Eskov subbed, up, subbed in. Um, but yeah, Solwyn looks like he actually has a pretty good matchup here as well, so I'm expecting him to prevail. Um, we have uh, Celebi Rain. Actually, you know what? Toxicroak could really put in work. You know what? I take that back. I'm um, looking at Toxicroak. Um, it walls Keldeo, potentially. Um, Spec Sacred Sword does a number that aside, um, and it takes advantage of Tentacle a ton. So that could go a long way if Selby doesn't wall it, so we'll have to wait and see about that. But um, yeah, um, both are using rain teams on um, someone's. I guess you clarify, you, you call bows. The double grass is interesting. Um, I don't know why I don't have animations on. Oops. Um, but regardless. Um, Okay, so we're going to see a lead Latios for Askov um, and a lead Thunderous for Solwind. Um, again, looking at Askov's team, probably bulky offensive-ish. Um, dual Steel on Rain is pretty cool. Um, probably Spin Drill. Um, could be Scarf Lati. In theory, it could be Scarf Thunderous on either side, actually. But anyway, we're going to see Latios retreat for Ferrothorn. Interesting. So not wanting to trick right off the bat. Um, gets Pharaoh in. That's fair. Um, probably going to trade Nox here if I had to guess. That indeed, so they both know what they're doing at least. That's good. Um, I think we'll probably see rocks now. Okay, so it's probably rocks drill from Askov, which makes a lot of sense. Um, the lack of compression on Farathorn could be good if it's Leech Seed, as that would help pressure the tentacle if it ever has to come to that. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, looks like they're both going to be setting spikes up. Just a question from someone says, okay, I'm fine with one. Let me get my Celebi or Thunderous and take advantage of this. Or it goes for all three. Seems like he's going to go for all three, which is fair. Um, meanwhile, Askov has all three up now, so maybe he could go for a switch himself. But no. He's going to go for another knockoff, which is dumb as fuck because you're taking more damage there. Um, really bad play. Um, I think you have to switch there. Or did not, not go for an attack. So you can go for like Wordy Seed if you have it, which he should because this team gets boned by Tentacraw. Uh, by, um, boned by Reuniclus. Um, but he doesn't have where to see it, it seems, so. I don't get the knock at all, though. There's no chance someone switches, so you're just taking more damage right off the bat there. Um, now we're just seeing spikes, another knock. Um, yeah, I don't get it at all. Um, someone spike is fine. It's just a really awkward sequence. But um, I don't understand. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's like 11.30 in the morning. Got some shit to do later today. Let's chill. Knockoff as Tentacle comes in. Okay, so that worked. Um, but, like, I don't get the urgency on either side. I think I... Okay, he goes... He doesn't even... Whatever, I give up. And it's not Black Sludge. What is this croak? Is it... Where does Antitoxic... Oh. Okay, I have given up faith in humanity. Um, this is probably over. Um, whatever. It'd be that way. He's gonna go Pytoad, which, yeah, it's fine. On a drill? What? what, what? I don't understand, though. <laughs> what is Askov trying to do here, and why is it... I... No. I just... Oi.
I guess you just go back to Toxic Rogue here on the skull. But like dug himself such a hole here. He's never gonna build a fucking spin. Like, honestly. He should have been the one urgently trying to get a spinner and not Solon. His tentacle gets in a ton. But yeah, um, now we're here. He goes Croak on the Scald. Okay. It's one good play. He's going to need many more at this point. Especially considering he's not Black Sludge, which means he's going to be weakened. Sword Stand's Croak can win with Rock Stuff. That's the thing. Like... Depending on the Celebi set. But, like... <sighs> he mismanaged the hazard control game so horribly. Jesus, this was so... This was, like, auto one, honestly. Okay, he's Focus Punch with Life Orb. I, this is, this is like not even a set either. I, I just, I give up. Um, Solwind is very much winning this game. Askov is evidently not a competent black-white player, as we, um, now very much observed by his sequencing early on in this game. And item choice on this Toxicroak. Um, yeah, so, some things we've learned. Solwind is still very good. Askov is not quite as good, um... But Tan Pass Selby is still in. And yeah, you know, I've actually been flirting with it myself on the Sand Team with Magnezone, but I can't make it work for the life of me. So it's really cool to see someone else bring it. I'm glad Solomon brought it. Really nice touch by him. But yeah, um, Asuka's in over his head at this point. Ugh, I'm tired as shit. I couldn't fall asleep at like 5.30 last night because my neighbor was making so much noise, so... You're getting like a half-assed narration. I actually tried to get the SM game before this, and like halfway through it, I just dozed off and stopped talking for a full minute, so... That was not fun. More Pharaoh action, which is interesting. Um, notice how healthy one is, how unhealthy the other is due to the mismanagement of hazards. Um, it's pretty cool. We get to see spikes here as tentacle comes in, which is good. Um, if you power up, you probably just go for it here. Yeah, uh, skull tier and a burn. Okay, actually, that's good, I guess. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, I mean, Thunderous comes in. I guess, it, oh, there's a glitch, by the way. So if he substitutes on a spin, the spin doesn't actually work. Um, so maybe substitutes to play here if you have it. Because that, like, also eases the switch. Um, okay, he nasty plotted, and this is a Scald. Yeah. Um, you see, at that point, you don't mind just two spikes on the field. Um, so that Scald was good. Especially since this is, like, such a free, um, oh, he goes for, okay, yeah, I'm just, this is over. I'm going to stop recording now because Askov is just humiliating himself. Um, so bye. Um, Solwyn's great. Askov, fucking atrocious.